Hey everybody, Sam here from Sugar Spun Run, and today I'll be showing you how to make a pecan pie. I have tested so many different pecan pie recipes, looking for the perfect one to share with you. Today's recipe is the winner, and I am so excited to be sharing my perfect pecan pie recipe with you today. To get started, you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you'll need two cups of pecan halves. Now, I like to toast these pecan halves, so you're going to pour them over a parchment paper lined cookie sheet, and we'll bake them in our 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about three to five minutes. This is really going to help bring out that great pecan flavor. While those are baking, you're going to need a large separate bowl, and we are going to add three large eggs. Ideally, these should be at room temperature. Whisk these really well until they're pale yellow and foamy. This is usually about 30 seconds of vigorous whisking for me. Next, we will add 2 thirds cup of dark corn syrup. Now keep in mind, this is not the same as high fructose corn syrup. We'll add this to our eggs. We'll also add a cup of tightly packed light brown sugar a cup of melted unsalted butter, and you want this to have cooled a little bit. I usually let mine cool back down to room temperature after melting, that way it's not so hot that it cooks our eggs. And one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, and just a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give everything a really good stir so that all of your ingredients are well combined. At this point, our pecans from earlier should be finished toasting. And I usually like to let them cool for a couple minutes before I add them into my mixture. So I'll let them rest for a little bit and then we'll stir them in with the rest of our ingredients. Once our pecan halves have cooled just a little bit, now we're going to give our mixture another good stir. And now we can add our pecans. We'll just mix these in really well. Our pecan pie filling is ready at this point, so now you are going to need a 9 inch pie crust in a pie plate. I just shared a recipe on how to make your own homemade pie crust. This is my all time favorite super easy recipe, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and grab the link in the description. As I said, you'll want to put this in a 9 or 10 inch pie plate, and we'll just pour our pecan pie filling inside of that. And I'll just use my spatula to spread those pecans out a bit so everything is nice and even. All right, now our pecan pie is ready to bake. We are going to transfer this to our 350 degree Fahrenheit oven where we will bake it for about 45 to 55 minutes. What you're looking for is a pie that's set when you jiggle it so the center shouldn't move a lot, it should look set. I have found that sometimes my pie crust tends to start to brown before the pie is done, so make sure you check your pie at about 25 to 30 minutes, and if needed, you can add a pie crust shield or you can cover it with foil to keep it from over browning or burning. Once your pecan pie is finished baking, you'll want to let this cool for several hours before digging in. I recommend letting your pie cool on top of the oven for about two hours and then transferring it to the refrigerator. I personally prefer to enjoy my pecan pie while it's still warm, preferably topped with ice cream, but that's just my personal preference. Once your pie has cooled, now you can dig in. And that is how you make my all-time favorite pecan pie recipe. I really think you guys are going to love this one. It's super easy and it yields great results every time. If you try it out, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.